Hello, aspiring medical professionals, it's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie, and today we are taking a look at Get a Grip Chip and the Body Bugs. This is a 2D action platformer where you take control of a small robot called Chip. Chip is used as a synthetic white blood cell in order to assist an ailing patient. So down the hatch Chip goes and your adventure begins. If the title of this game sounds a little bit familiar, no you are not having deja vu. Get a Grip Chip was actually a game that came out in October of 2020. Get a Grip Chip and the Body Bugs is a much smaller experience though it does use the same gameplay mechanics, so let's talk a little bit about what that entails. This title is broken up into 12 levels which can all be selected from the main hub which is a human body. or more specifically the gastrointestinal tract of a human body. Chip travels through the mouth, stomach, and intestines using nothing but his trusty grappling hook. In fact, in this title you can't actually jump at all. All of your maneuvering is going to be done using that hook. There is a brief tutorial at the beginning of the game that explains how to play for those who have not played the original title. It's built right into the first level and is very non-invasive, unlike Chip. And from there, it's just a matter of perfecting the art of the grappling hook. Once hooked onto one of the little nodules, you can propel yourself in any direction using the right stick to aim, and you'll be wanting to keep your eyes peeled because there are white blood cells in a bunch of different hidden areas throughout these levels that you can use to gain new information about the gastrointestinal system and to unlock new levels. There are also plenty of checkpoints to find that will restore your health completely. Well, I should say Chip's health, not the body's health that we're working in, or your health out there, though. That would be nice, right? But I digress. Once you exit a level, you enter a room full of signs with various definitions. These definitions correspond with one of the white blood cells that you've collected. Each of these white blood cells has a key word, for example, food, or calories, or nutrients. So you simply use the corresponding keyword to the definition and hook onto that sign in order to unlock new levels in this game. You'll have to collect all of the white blood cells in a single level to complete them all. This does make the game feel a little bit like something I would have played in 6th or 7th grade science class, but I still kind of enjoyed it for that reason, a little bit nostalgic. And if learning isn't your thing, there are also leaderboards where you can compete for the fastest time. As far as accessibility and options in this title, there aren't a whole lot to speak of. You can increase the health limit for for chip up to infinite health, or you can reduce it for even greater challenge. Other than that, you can toggle screen shake and rumble on or off, turn on a timer, or adjust the controls. And that's really all there is to it. This isn't a particularly long or challenging game, though the price tag does reflect that, and I think that anything that was challenging in this game is actually optional. So there are some chase levels where you are being chased by the left side of the screen with some sort of a virus or what have you, and if you make one mistake, your run is essentially over, but you are not forced to complete this. Your only incentive to do so is to unlock new equipment for Chip. And again, if you're playing with a young child or a less skilled player, you can always turn on infinite health and you'd be able to get through it no problem. Confession time. When I see a game that is $2.99 USD, my expectations for that title are usually set very low, and this was certainly no exception. Exception. However, I was pleasantly surprised by Get a Grip Chip. The controls felt super fluid and smooth, and it's a fun mechanic to get used to, though it does feel a little bit weird not to have a jump, which I fully realize is the entire point of the game. I was equally surprised by how well this game performed on the Switch and how lovely the graphics were. They are kind of samey after a while. A lot of the backgrounds look very similar, but I mean, it's the human body. What do you want? You're staring at flesh walls. Apart 
apart from that, I thought they were really well detailed and vibrant colors. I like the look of the little white blood cells that you collect. They're super cute. I loved that secret areas would kind of shimmer at you to catch your attention. So that makes it a little bit more accessible for younger players. The soundtrack, while not necessarily my personal taste, definitely gives this game its own personality. It is highly synthetic sounding, which I guess you're a synthetic white blood cell, so that makes sense. But it's very heavy on the synth drum beats. I will say this, there is an astounding amount of variety to the soundtrack, especially considering how small this game is. They weren't all hits, but I could clearly see the amount of effort that went into this. Get a Grip Chip and The Body Bugs is a cute little bargain title that might just teach you a little something about the gastrointestinal system. Is it a little bit cheesy on the educational stuff? Yeah, but did it make me feel like I was watching an episode of The Magic School Bus? Yes, and I kind of liked it for that. It definitely tries something really neat with that grappling hook mechanic, and overall it was a really nice presentation for a really small price and made me want to play the original Get a Grip Chip. Our content here at I Dream of Indie is only possible thanks to our brave indie warriors and legends that support us through channel memberships. Thank you to indie warriors Bill, Christian Cruz, Adriana Amato, CJR, PSC, Julian Colbus, Jesse, Ray Lynn, Marky Mint, Dave Harp, Peekaboo, Lex Noyle, and King of the Hatch. And those brave indie legends are Jen Rose, Larkison, Mitchell Hall, Peach, Skepticism, Seacoil, Nathan Moore, Chris Jackson, Mr. W, Blue Francis 14, The Beefarinis, Business Cody, and Carmen Red. Thank you so much for all that you do for independent developers, public publishers, and for I Dream of Indy. Everybody else, head down to the description box below. Let's defeat the gaming echo chamber and bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.